Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm Evie. And I'm Evan. Today is Friday, November 4th, 2022. Today is an A-Day. This week, we are featuring sediments on a student in the spotlight. In two segments on environmental school. Here's an announcement from our school nurse, Mrs. Kaiser. It's that time of year. Many viruses are going around such as colds, flu, strep throat, stomach bug, and also COVID. It is so important that you take it apart in keeping yourself and others healthy in school. If you are feeling sick, please stay at home and get better. If you are feeling well enough to be in school but are having symptoms, please consider wearing a mask if you are comfortable doing so. And as always, cover your coughs, sneezes, and wash your hands. The Cross Country End the Season Party will be on Wednesday, November 9th from 2.30 to 4. Please remember to bring in your uniform that day. Uniforms can also be turned in earlier to Miss Thompson. The Scholastic Book Fair will be held from November 14th to the 18th in the Hampton Academy Library. The fair will be open to students each school day and will also be open to families during conferences on November 17th from 4 to 7 p.m. Preview books from the fair, set up an e-wallet account, and shop online on our book fair homepage as listed below. Bookfairs.scholastic.com The candy drive is still going strong. We have almost filled three buckets. There are collection bins in Miss Ross and a fourth just inside the main doors room if anyone would like to donate. So far, we're getting a great turnout from every grade. Thanks in advance. The Student Council Thanksgiving Food Drive continues through November 18th. Please help support those in need. Bring your food donations to your homeroom. Take a look at the pictures of the items you can bring in. Lunch will be Sal's Pizza, Three Bean Salad, Pineapple Chunks, and Milk. Mm-mm, I better get me some of that lunch. Good morning. I am here with a sixth grade student, Sienna Rush. Sienna is our student in the spotlight. Good morning, Sienna. Good morning. I understand that you are an equestrian. What kind of riding do you participate in? I do Morgan Hunter Pleasure. Do you have your own horse? I lease a horse named Jackson. You were recently in a competition. Can you tell us about that? Um, it's Morgan World and Grand National Horse Show in Oklahoma City. Um, when was it? The 8th to the 15th. How many competitors were there? There was probably about a thousand. Um, how did you place? I placed first, second, third, and ninth. Let's take a look at some of the clips from the event. For town, Colorado. And here's our winning equitation rider. It's Sienna Rush. Woo! Congratulations, Sienna Rush. Equitation. Let's congratulate our equitation winner. <laughs> wow, congratulations, Sienna. That seems like quite an accomplishment. Thank you for being on Shark News. Thank you. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with two former Shark News directors, AJ and Reed. AJ, how are you liking the high school so far this year? Um, it's good. It's a nice little change of pace. The classes are fun, and yep. Yeah. And Reed, is there anything like Shark News that Winnicott offers? Well, there is WHS, WHTV at um, Winnicott. Um, I don't take part in it because I just don't have room in my schedule, but I would like to one day. Thank you both for being on Shark News. This week we have two segments about environmental camp. One about the students who were here at Hampton Academy and, and one about the students who traveled in Mara Vista. Thanks, Thanks to Miss Duffy who organized the at-school events, and to Miss Muncie, who organized the camp experiments. Thanks to the many staff who joined in to make it happen. Hi, I'm here with... Reagan Page. And... Mark Howard. So last week, they did an at-school environmental camp. And so, Reagan, can you please tell us what you did? So Thursday, we did a beach cleanup at Janice Beach. 
Wednesday, we made some nice food like caramel apples and apple cinnamon uh, covered in bread. Friday, we did at school cleanup, and we also did a lighting library scavenger hunt. And so, Mark, what was your favorite part? Making a uh, pool cinnamon rolls. Nice. We have some picker- pictures. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Amelia, Phoebe, and I'm Leah. So, Amelia, what did you guys do today? I went to the ropes course outside and we did the leadership. And what did you learn? I learned about teamwork and leadership. Nice. We're ready. Can I say the lights on? Climbing. So, Alicia is saying, I'm ready to climb. I'm just making sure that we're ready. And then I say, climb away. And then Alicia can start climbing. So, before that, though, we need a team, a belay team. building activity. And what did you learn? Um, I learned about teamwork and how we have to work together. Thank you guys for being on Sharkness. Good morning Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with Sophia, Lucy, Avery, Isabel. So Sophia, what are some things that you did today? So um, we did some ropes course and we were climbing. And what did you learn? I learned like I was capable um, of just trying new things that I'm like, like facing my fears. Nice, what about you Lucy? Um, today we walked to a beaver dam with our group and we also did ropes courses and climbing walls. Can you guys see the beaver dam? Just saw, you see how the water level is way higher than right where it is here on this little river? So there's a river that feeds in and we just walked it up. And what does that do to the area around it? Like, and what did you do? Uh, we did team building activities and we learned about the ecosystem. And what, last but not least, what about you? Um, we did a hike down to the lake and we learned that the tallest mountain in the world is submerged underwater. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So, how can we do our part to make these apple trees a little bit healthier? Uh, so, can't do that. more of the thing.
Hello, I'm here with Taylor, Charlie, and Jake. Okay, Taylor, what did you learn and do today? Today we did a high ropes course and it was really fun. Charlie, what did you do and learn today? Um, we learned about beavers and how they're really cool animals. Okay, Jake, what did you do and learn today? Um, we learned about squirrels and how they hide their acorns and come back to them at the end of the winter. Cool, thank you. All right, so we're out here at the compost bins. Why would you want to compost? Um, it helps the environment and like recycle stuff that was already like eaten and stuff. So it helps, so it makes stuff less like wasted. Okay, so instead of putting it in the trash, we we put it in, put the, in compost the compost bin. And it All right, helps what kind? Plants grow and it helps from other plants dying because of landfills. Cool. Um, what kind of things go in the compost? You can put um, your food scraps in. You can put like dairy and stuff in it. Okay. And you can put like. All right. What about wrappers for granola bars or plastic containers? You can put in the napkins we have here, but you can't really put in like plastic wrappers or stuff like that because it takes so long to like decompose and sometimes it does barely decomposes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Celebrating her birthday today is Shark News' very own Anna Whitney. Celebrating tomorrow is Noah Kimbrell, and celebrating on Sunday is Owen Keen. Happy birthday, Anna, Noah, and Owen. And now for the weather today, we will have mostly sunny skies. Our high temperature will be 68 degrees. Saturday, we will have partly cloudy skies. A high temperature will be 74 degrees. On Sunday, it will be overcast, but we will have near record high temperatures. High temperature will be 72 degrees. This week, we have no weather photos. You can send your Shark News weather photos into sharknews at sau90.org. And remember to remain sunny side up. Our fact of the day is something for you to guess. And it is a fact about our environment. What kind of bird can fly backwards? Today is Use Your Common Sense Day. It is observed annually on November 4th since common sense is an important tool for living life. Common sense is the applied knowledge of a simple, sensible, things, such as not jumping into rivers without knowing what is under the water. We need to remind ourselves 
that the importance of applying common sense to our everyday lives and decisions is to avoid unnecessary dangers. Our third day is from inventor Thomas Edison and, and it has to do with common sense. He said, the three great essentials to achieve anything worthwhile are hard work, stick to -ness, and common sense. Thomas A. Edison. Hey Sophie, what? what do predators call hummingbirds? I don't know what. Fast food. <laughs> Our answer to the fact of the day is this according to Encyclopedia Britannica. The hummingbird is the only bird that can fly in any direction. The unique architecture of its wings enables it to fly forward, backwards, straight up and down. All remain suspended in the air. Remember before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day. <laughs>